You feel like your video is awful. It's just another motorcycle travel video. Just one among the countless others out there. I constantly remind myself of this. I tend to be overly critical of my own videos. Perhaps you can relate to this sentiment. I was thinking man it's been a long time it feels like a long time since we've been together on these two bikes again you know i mean it's been a while right so we're just going to ride around until lunchtime for the most part we'll go over to dayton and i'm sure by then it'll be probably close cool yeah all right dude i'll follow you If you're familiar with me, you'll know that I have a soft spot for motorcycle travel videos, especially the ones with a cinematic touch. Sure, they can sometimes come off as cheesy and exaggerated, but there's something undeniably cool about transforming the footage from my rides with friends into entertainment for others. However, as I've continued to create more videos, I found myself feeling increasingly unoriginal. I often place immense pressure on myself to outdo my previous work, which can quickly lead to creative frustration. So now, when I have the chance to hit the road and ride, I've adopted a more relaxed approach. Instead of overthinking it, I simply create something for myself. So that's what this is, just another motorcycle travel video. It wasn't long until Eric and I found our first destination of the day. Our first stop of the day is the Cherokee Removal Memorial Park. Hey, Cal, we made it. You think they're open? <sighs> the part that I saw on Google Maps, you like Walker, it's, it looked more outdoors. I don't know, but that whole area, I know it's roped off, but on the map, you can go way back there and it takes you right over to the, they've got like this little lookout area where you can look at, uh, I don't know, the whole Wasi, you know, it, it looked pretty cool. Memorial is dedicated to the Cherokees that died and those that cried due to their forced removal, which has been which has become known as the Trail of Tears. Countless names. That's yeah. It's really kind of sobering that we're here. Now this one is a, uh, it's a, it's a, it was really dedicated to those who died and suffered in the Trail of Tears. This park is really intended to educate the public about that area of time, the wildlife in the area. There's a gift shop over here that's closed. That's pretty much open, what, Monday through Saturday. We're here on a Sunday, so it's closed up. That our luck, that's our luck. Um, let's see, so I really had no idea that this place was even here until I started getting around looking on Google Maps, but uh, luck luckily enough, Eric knew right where it was at, got us here, and uh, so we're going we're gonna to take a look around, and then we're going to cruise right down the road over to where, what were you saying, Is the, used to be the Blythe Ferry or something like that? Check out where a ferry used to shuttle people across the Hawassi River before they even built a bridge. So it's been a been a good visit. Yeah, if you're wondering, so just coming out of the parking lot right here, we're gonna go right and 
Eric's just gonna coast. But uh, there is a an old ferry location that would take you across to the Hawassi River before they built the bridge. Neato, man. So this just ends right smack dab in the middle of the river. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I'm going to cruise down here. I'm just going to take a look. Yeah, look at this. It's just right there. You put your boat in now, huh? Where it used to be a ferry. Off to our next stop, which is uh, going to be lunch. It's just another motorcycle video. You've probably seen countless ones like it before, but I hope you find a connection with this video. For instance, when you listen to your favorite musician, you don't feel disconnected from the artist because you weren't in the studio or because you didn't assist in writing the song. Instead, you feel a connection with this individual, or maybe the song takes you right back to a time and a place that special moment you wish you could live over and over again. That's the connection I want with you, my viewer, and that's what I hope this video does for you. As the afternoon continued, we decided to make a pit stop in Dayton, Tennessee. Dayton is a small town and is known for the famous Scopes trial in 1925 excellent bass fishing, and this place, Monkey Town Brewing Company. We were starving. This restaurant was outstanding. A full bar and craft beer when you're thirsty. Friendly staff with plenty of seating. Motorcycle parking right up front for us. And of course, the food. Grilled chicken sandwich, mac and cheese. And then Eric shows me out eating all healthy with a wrap and what is that nasty <laughs> stuff right there? Broccoli. The steamed broccoli. <laughs> so we're currently taking a break and getting some food at Monkey Town Brewing in Dayton, Tennessee. It's about 35, 36 miles outside of Chattanooga. This place had an outstanding menu. I had a great chicken sandwich. Eric tried to eat healthy and show me up, but it was very, very good. Good food, cold drinks for a hot summer day. They currently have three locations. You can find them here in Dayton, Tennessee, one back in Chattanooga, and Loudoun, Tennessee. So all these locations are, lo are in Tennessee if you're not in the area. But if you are around here, it is very dish delicious and I highly recommend. Videos like this are exactly what drew me to watching and creating motorcycle content. These are more than just motorcycle travel videos to me. They're snippets of my life that I may have never captured if I hadn't been trying to create something for myself and others. A memory to keep, a memory to share, a memory to repeat. So if you are thinking about that next video or creative project, don't talk yourself out of something wonderful. Make it no matter what anyone thinks or what anyone says. Create it for yourself or for others. It's your experience. You just haven't brought it to life yet.